Hey guys, it's Lady Plants a lot here, and I just wanted to tell you guys that yeah, it's me. I know I'm never on camera too much, but I got my hair cut and <laughs> I've been driving, so I look crazy. But I wanted to tell you guys that it's very important for us to start businesses. Rich people do not have hobbies. They have businesses. So therefore, I started a business. It's called Rural Property Solutions. You can look me up. It's there, krg at ruralpropertysolutions.network. If you're interested, you see the website and everything. You send me an email at that same address. But I started a business. I registered with the Secretary of State. I am a S corporation. Um, and I'm going to be wholesaling real estate. Real estate is uh, the fastest way or one of the most guaranteed ways to become wealthy and i like to become wealthy because i fucking like money and i know you guys do too so what i am willing to do is i'm willing to help everybody but you got to listen you got to do what i say and you can't be in a rush to do things because we there are steps to this there are steps to this there's level to this baby um, there are steps to this, and what I want to do is I want to help everybody, especially in Florida. I want to help you get registered with the Secretary of State so you can get your articles of incorporation. I don't see mine back here, but um, I think I'm, my folder's back there or whatever. But what happens is you get this thing back, and you begin to get business credit. Business credit is different than regular credit. Um, let's see. And then you wind up with things like this. I'm gonna cover up the number. But you wind up with things like this. This is my banking, my business bank account. Um, <clears throat> this is my business credit card. See, it says my name and all that. I don't mind it saying, I don't mind you seeing my name because I'm registered. Like when you, um, I'm a public person now. So when you go into the pay decks, you can see my information for my business. You can see who incorporated it. You can see who's, <clears throat> who's the registered agent. You can see who's the uh, officer. And you can see what type of credit that business has. And it's all out there for the public to see. Just like on the consumer side, we have Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. This On the business side, you have Equifax, TransUnion, and uh, Paydex, I believe. I believe. I might. Is that a gray hair or what? The hell? Shit. Jesus, time to go color the hair. What is that? Well, nothing. Okay, anyway. Well, you have, um, I swear there's something there. Okay, maybe it's just the light. Um, well, so we have, um, those scores. And once you get a good score, you start getting business credit. Now, when you get business credit, what happens? You get to buy a car. in your business's name. You don't have to buy one in your personal name because if you have one, definitely is for business. Um, you write down, you can take a deduction on that too. If you buy like say a Telluride, you can take a deduction on that because it's more than 6,000 pounds. There are, I think they said 372 uh, deductions you can take for taxes for businesses and um, corporations, LLCs, things like that. Let me tell you. And if you have little little minions, little minions, their salary can be written off because they are um, relative employees. So little minions, your little minions, not my little minions, your little minions, you know what they do? They write letters 
Some of your minions are old enough to work a phone and they can make thank you cards. Some of your little minions are old enough to wear a shirt and hand out flyers, like what my minions do. But I'm a I'm a S corp. I have to find out what what I can write. But your minions can help run your office, which means pick up the trash, um, clean off the phone. Most people will call those chores, but that is what you do with with your children when they when you are LLC. You take their salary, which you probably would pay them in allowance you turn it into salary and then at the end of the year under twelve thousand dollars you write that off twelve thousand dollar coupon B biggest damn coupon i've ever seen or heard about um just things like that cars if it's six thousand pounds or more i believe there's some more nooks and crannies with that but you can write these things off. This car will be getting wrapped. That's advertisement. I'm going to write that off. Write off every damn thing I can. When I went and bought clothes, um, you can't see it. But when I went and bought clothes, I bought uh, collared shirts and khakis and things like that. And I put rural property solutions and my phone number on them. And I gave one to each of my children. And when they are handing out flyers, they have their shirt on. Now that's called promotion. If I was LLC, I'd write it off. But like I said, I have to figure out some more about S-Corps, exactly how I can write. write uh, but that they're... they're 1099 employees? I mean, I guess I, I, I guess I could do that. But with the LLC, you could definitely write all that stuff off. Just keep track of it. I have a purse for my business, and I have a purse for my, or wallet for my um, personal now. And I carry both of them all the time. And I usually have all my information, my, my uh, EIN number in a folder, my articles of incorporation in case I want to open up another business account, which I should. Um, I'm going to wait three months um, from when I open this one up. So that's two more statements. I'm going to wait three months from when I open this one up and open up another account. Hey, you know what they're going to do? Because my paydex score is going to be different. It's going to be farther up. You know what they're going to do? They're going to give me a business credit card with a higher credit limit on it. And you know what I'm going to do? I am going to, I probably will buy a drone. Um, so when I go to take pictures, I can do flyovers of these houses. And that is also a business. That'll be my second business. I'll be doing um, views of houses that are on the market or on the listing. Or even if I'm not doing, um, like working with a real estate agent, even if I'm doing, okay, this is what your house needs to forcibly appreciate it. You need a roof. Look, look at these pictures. You need siding. Look at this. You need paint. Look at this. Here's a, here's a picture of your drone. It's right here. Here it is. Here's these pictures I've took with my drone. Here's my drone. Um, your overall property these things are things that you can do for businesses you fly drones your kids fly drones because you know damn kids know how to do all that shit that's a business start them in a business explain to them that the school to pipeline school to prison pipeline needs to stop they don't have to go that way they don't have to be anybody's worker now i want y'all to understand something real real clear here i'm not crazy about trump and i'm not crazy about biden at all don't care about neither one of them because neither one is coming to give me a check for a hundred and twenty five twenty six thousand dollars let's say a hundred fifty thousand dollars say a hundred thirty thousand dollars to 
pay off my house. Neither one of them. Um, neither one of them is coming to give me that, regardless who gets in the office. So the best thing I can do is to figure out what the fuck to do with either one of them in office, which is what us brown people have been doing all along. You have to be a business in this country to make it. That's the only way you're going to get any damn coupons. Remember, I'm a couponer at heart. I'm a couponer, super couponer, extreme couponer at heart. I'm a couponer. And what I want you guys to do is to start starting businesses. You get them damn $10,000 coupons like nobody's business. <laughs> nobody's business. Mom joke. Haha. <laughs> um. But really, that's what you need to do. If you want the money, that's where it is. Can buy You can buy houses in your business's name. Just put them in the LLC. And that, um, like in a, in a barge, there's places. So if the barge gets hit on one side or the other, the water goes in and it stops, right? So when you have LLCs, it's like in contained inside of something inside of the corporate L, li, limited liability corporation company something like that whatever but if i use this example with my friend my my dear friend i said brat da brat she hit some bitch in the head with a bottle you know that song remember she really did that she was performing as the brat so the lady that she got hit in the head with a bottle she sued the brat she didn't sh sue shante harris because shante harris probably doesn't have really anything she sued the brat the brat and shante harris are two different entities the brat she sued she attached the brat's earnings that's why the brat like kind of fell off i ain't gonna say she fell off i don't want to I like the B-R-A-T. I like her. Um, but what happened was she, she kind of lost herself and let her business get liable and hit somebody. And she was criminally liable and legally liable. And litigation is a bitch, man. They will get you every time. So when you are a limited liability corporation or any company corporation any any of those entities they are separate from yourself that's why that credit card that i showed you it is me on there i am the chief officer that means myself me can use it i have to use it for business things for me using in the name of the business the business itself is a thing now right the business itself has to be somebody has to file paperwork for it to die the business is standalone if i should pass away right now i'm not really sure what happens but some the business has to actually have the business itself is another entity. It's another entity. Like, like if this car was the business's car. Pull it over. It says Rural Property Solutions. Hi, Miss um, Rural Property Solutions. Can I see your license? Yeah, um, here's my license, but this car is my business car. It's not Kia Archie's. So I would have to call and get insurance on a business car, uh, business insurance, you know? So if my car, uh, the car that I happen to be driving, hits somebody, it's insured. The business is insured, right? It's important. It's very, very important. I carry a million dollars in insurance. I don't even, I use a, a, a subcontractor. I'm not going on nobody damn roof doing, doing none of that shit. But I use a subcontractor. I tell them, come out here. Give me an estimate. And let's get to it. Make sure he has insurance. Have a million dollars insurance. I have a million dollars insurance. We get busy. You want your fence? 
uh, your, your fence is gray and algae and moldy and ugly and things like that, we'll pressure wash your fence. I have a million dollars in insurance. I can do that. They, they can do it, not me. Not me. I, I just sign checks. <laughs> I sign checks. I don't. <laughs> so these are some of the things I do with rural property solutions. Because if you got some property and you're obviously you're out here in the rural area, I got a solution for you if you got a property problem. So therefore, all the things that I did to start my business, I can write off. All them credit cards that I use to buy um, cards, business cards, the other box of business cards, shirts, clothes, um, the gas. I can get a, a, a fleet gas card. Um, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm a brand just yet. But baby, when I get to the point where I can be a brand, guess who is writing off haircuts and all that stuff because I'm a brand. My facials. Are you listening? Are y'all listening? My my signature eyeglasses. My when I become a brand, I'll be writing of uh, those things off. So now I have to go find somebody to tell me how to become a brand. Because I like to get my things done. I like to get my eyebrows done. I get them threaded. I like, you see my eyelashes? Baby, look at them eyelashes. I don't even have on um, falsies today. I can't figure out how to put them damn things on. So I got, I just got some particular. Um, but look. I can't even open, I can't stretch my eyes. But um, when I become a brand, all these things are going to be necessary for my image. When I go to, to somebody with my clipboard and my computer and all this stuff to speak to them and say, Hey, I think you have a property problem. Can I help you with a solution? They're going to say, Oh, I've seen you before because it's going to be on the side of my car. That's branding. If you're a brand... You got to maintain that brand. That's haircuts. Ain't that what Donald Trump do? With that damn weird ass, whatever the hell he got going. Look, I think I got a Donald Trump cut today. Oh, shit. Oh. Hey, we might be on to something here. Bitch, we might be on to something here. But anyway, um, I just want y'all to know that it, because, you know what? Because I have worn my hair like this for... Hell, you know, I haven't been on Facebook in I don't know how long. And uh, my hair is just like this. Hmm, interesting. It's longevity. So anyway, we'll talk to you later. This is Lady Plant signing off. Bye.